We've just finished our first stint in the studio here at Wild Goose, which is Wiltshire, Hampshire. Where are we, Doug? Hampshire. Hampshire, brilliant. It's been a really incredible week. I think we came with lots of lots of material that was partly written, a lot of things that felt very there and we kind of tweaked. A lot of things that we've created this week and arranged and put chords to. We have actually rehearsed. Yes. Um, I know that may shock some of you, but it is true. And um, so we could at least come in with the bare bones. But what's beautiful about this and also scary is we knew we would be sort of building it as we go along. Yeah. We've managed eight tracks, all of which we've just listened to, and uh, we're really loving, aren't we? We started with the first and we then went on to the last thing, so we've topped and tailed our set, and uh, we've worked out that we have another 12 to go, is that correct? Something like that. Yes, and I, for me, that's two pieces, one of which is needs to be kind of chopped and dissected and reworked which feels awful but it'll get there and the other is another research and writing so it's from scratch and I think you guys have got other similar stories you know things that are kind of partly there and other things that need writing yeah, totally. in order to get there nothing like a deadline to put pressure on a and lot get of creation things. needed before then yeah one of the um, amazing things was that bef just before we came into the studio on Tuesday last our last rehearsal we got to meet Chloe Mason who Joe first got in touch with when we very first started this project off in September. I don't know if you want to say a little bit more about that day meeting Chloe. Uh, well yes I mean first of all I contacted her she's the great granddaughter of um, Alice Wielden. It worked out that we were all meeting together for a rehearsal and so we invited her over to have lunch with us. Sarah was providing the fodder. Homemade which, soup. Yeah which was excellent. Brilliant. And, uh, and in walks this fairly petite, uh, but amazingly dynamic, snappy, uh, yes, yeah. Australian, although born with a British passport, um, uh, who's, a who's a solicitor by trade, who um, uh, we all sort of got on really, really well and realised we all want it to be right and, uh, and we have the same ideas and so we had these exciting conversations where you say, and do you know that and oh and yeah that happened and that thing there and oh my god and you know. Totally even great. to the extent that she was using some of the words and expressions that we have found ourselves using in the choruses and things. She used the expression feisty women, didn't yeah. she? It's like, I'm really glad that you mentioned that because that's part of our chorus. Yeah. Other, lots of lots of little things like that. We really felt in tune with her and on the same wavelength. But what was lovely is that after everything that we kind of previewed for her, she just had this little bit of extra information or this little tidbit. Sarah um, took one of Hetty's letters and put it to music and the cant, there was the word cant, but what? Cant and humbug. Of it all. Of it all. And yeah. um, apparently Hetty used this a lot. Chloe we... said, I'm really glad you got that in there, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. But Chloe's been able to provide us with a lot more information that is just not publicly available. So it gives us that voice of the people that we're writing about. And that's a, a creative dream. Yeah. A lot yeah. more authenticity to it. It's been a really good meeting, hasn't it? Mm. And she might be able to come to the uh, album launch gig as well, which, which is be amazing. lovely. Yeah. Thank you, Doug, for this week. Yeah, yes. Wild Goose has Cheers, been a, Doug. a pleasure and a treat, as always. Doug's it's waving. Been amazing. <laughs> yeah, so thank it's you It's been very great. Much, we look forward to the next time.